Hi, everybody. I am Shay Mackin, otherwise known as Program Ranger Shay with Capillary Council. Welcome to the University of Scouting 2021 class. This is a class about special opportunities for Cubs other than adventures and ranks. So other awards and other opportunities that your Cub Scouts um, individually as dens and as packs can uh, go and achieve. Um, so some fun things. I found a ton, guys, about 35 different things. So we're going to try and blaze through this as quick as possible. I want to thank Cavalry Council for the opportunity to teach this class. I have been scouting for a long time, and uh, I have four boys myself, who uh, one currently in the program, three who have gone through the program that are adults. And so let's get started. All right, so first of all, I made sure and looked at, this is the age appropriate guidelines for scouting activities. I know it's really small on the screen, but I would say Google that. Age appropriate guidelines for scouting activities. That gives you a, a breakdown of what scouts can do, do per rank. That's super helpful because just because you say Cub Scouts can do something doesn't necessarily mean a line can do what a wee below um, can do. And so look at that for sure. All right, these are, this is just a little touch of all of the things we we're going to talk about today. So a lot of badges, belt loops, um, cords, all sorts of fun stuff, um, both on the regular uniform that they can wear, as well as, and I, I'm trying to remember which, there we go, as well as some temporary patches that either can go on that um, right breast pocket underneath Boy Scouts of America on the uniform, that is your temporary pocket spot. So the left breast is where you put your rank and the right breast is where you can change out patches that they earn. That's why it's called the temporary pocket. Or you can put things in one of those little plastic things you can get at the scout shop, at the Ficket Center, uh, where you can switch out patches so that you don't have to sew something on because not all the patches have the little loop to hang from the button, or they also, I know, sell um, blankets, whether they're red, blue, whatever color, um, you can sew patches on. My boys have always done the red vest. This is my oldest, now he's 23 and married, but back in the day when he was a Cub Scout, he, of course, it was a little bit of a different program, so there are definitely different patches. Um, but when he did these other things that were not rank, we would sew them on a red vest. And he didn't wear that everywhere. He would really just wear that to pack meetings um, and, and kind of have a, a chance to kind of be proud of the things that they did. Then, of course, at Air of Light, they showed them and wore them. And then at his Eagle Court of Honor, and each of my three now Eagles um, have all displayed those at their Eagle Court of Honor um, and gotten, gotten a chance to look back and remember some of the fun uh, camps and adventures and things that they did. All right, so the first award we're going to talk about is the Cub Scout Outdoor Activity Award. That um, is called an award, and the, the patch itself is called an emblem. That patch um, and little wolf track pins um, are what they can earn with that Cub Scout Outdoor Activity Award. Now, keep in mind, the Cub Scout track little pins were recalled in 2020 due to lead levels. So you cannot get those anymore at the scout shop. They no longer sell them due to the lead levels. Um, and I'm hoping National <laughs> will come out with some new pins that don't have lead in them. Um, I'm not sure what their plan is on that. I'm sure that's really not high on their priority list of things that they need to get done this year. Um, but know that that is what those are. And Tigers through Weeblows and Arrow of Light can earn that at this time, as far as I know, they have not added lions to the Outdoor Activity Award. Cub Scouts can earn this award um, in each of their program years. So the very first year that they earn it, they get the patch or the emblem, okay? And then each consecutive year, they're supposed to get the little pin, the wolf track pin to stick on there. So if you do it in, you know, uh, tiger, you get the emblem, and then wolf, you get a pin, bear, you get a pin, we blow, you get a pen, and if you earn it, you know, like the summer before your era of light, then you, you go walk away with possibly four pens back in the day when we were still handing out pens. So, um, and each one has like a specified adventure that they need to do. And then on the paperwork, um, then, so, so you're going to Google 
Well, actually, I am going to send you all, and whoever is running this class for me um, is going to give you guys a Google Doc that I created with all of these links to all of these documents that I'm going to refer to. Uh, I am. I apologize for not being able to be there today. I am teaching at National Camp School so that our council can run some in-person overnight activities um, coming up, uh, hopefully in the near future. So um, I, I'm kind of double booked today, so I made sure and recorded this so that you guys could, could take advantage of this uh, knowledge. Um, so again, the link will be in that Google Doc, and I'm sure that in the chat right now, they're going ahead and putting that Google Doc um, link for you. So they're going to do their specified adventure and then some outdoor activities. You know, only a few for tigers, more for weeblows, because we expect a little bit more of our older scouts. Now, the placement of that emblem is going to go on that right pocket um, flap. Okay, that's the only thing that should go on there. Your whittling shit, other things don't go on there. Only the outdoor activity award emblem goes on the right pocket. So right underneath the words Boy Scouts of America. All right, now the next one is National Summertime Pack Award. So this is a really cool thing. This is when um, your pack is awarded to encourage packs to provide a year round program. So not stopping in the summer. If you don't stop during the summer, yay. For PACs, the possibility of earning the award can be an incentive for more participation of summertime PAC events. So your PAC is supposed to do events June, July, and August. You only have to really do one event. And then depending on the percentage of um, kids that show up, whether or not you get the award for your den um, and for your PAC. And then the ribbon can be hung on the top of your pack flag for your pack. And the kids each get little summertime pack award pins. So my boys on their uniforms, um, they it goes right above the right pocket flap. Boom, boom, boom. You've got each year. But they have to go to the June, the July, and the August pack activity, whatever that is, right? Um, and I know a lot of us even were earning these this last summer during lockdown with it doesn't necessarily have to be outdoors right now because of COVID. We have had, you know, some waivers um, being able to happen. And then the National Den Award. Not a whole lot of people know about this. The National Den Award recognizes dens that conduct a quality year round program. It can be earned only once a year. So once every 12 months. And you need to do service projects, field trips, character development, camping. That's the areas of emphasis. Dens are awarded as a team and not as individual den members. So that's uh, for your whole den or if you're a Weeblow for your whole patrol. And that's for Tigers Through Weeblows um, or Air of Light. You need to have 50% of your den attend two meetings and one pack meeting every month for the year. And complete six of the activities on the list during the year, like the service projects or the camping. And then that ribbon can again go on top of your den flag. And if you are a Weeblo patrol, you can put that little star patch underneath your patrol patch. So they remember as Weeblos who transfer to the tan shirt, then they can pick, they are not a den anymore, really. They're a patrol. And you put a patrol circular emblem underneath the flag. And um, underneath that patrol, you can put that little star sewn underneath. Now, the World Conservation Award. The World Conservation um, Award provides an opportunities for individuals in wolf, bear, and weeblow scouts and more to think globally and act locally to preserve and improve our environment. This program is designed to make youth members aware that all nations are closely related related through our natural resources and that we are our we <laughs> and our ward environment are interdependent and again that is wolves and up for our cubs they need to work on about three to four depending on your rank uh, adventures and it specifies which adventures and then do a den a pack or a family conservation project that they lead and then again this is a temporary patch so that goes on that right pocket or on the red vest or blanket cyber chip so everybody this is a requirement for every rank now 
uh, which is amazing with our technology, especially having to do a lot of our scouts online at this point. And so this is a requirement. Um, but the cool thing is, instead of just checking it off, there's a cool patch and pin that they can they can get. Today's youth are spending more and more time using digital media for education, for sure, right now. Research, socializing, and for fun. To help families and volunteers keep our youth safe while online, the Boy Scouts of America introduced the cyber chat chip. <laughs> In developing this exciting new tool, we teamed up with NetSmart, and they are part of the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children because we know that people who have um, exploited children and that continue to do so use the um, social media and digital devices and the internet as a tool to exploit children. And so they are experts in this, working with law enforcement agencies. And the first year that they earn it, they get the patch and then they get a card. And each additional year they get the card and the recharge pin. That's the little, right? The little lightning bolt they, where they're recharging and helping to understand, reiterate the cyber chip rules. Um, and so they need to commit and sign the pledge. And then there's some videos that they need to watch and discuss. And that goes again, that's a temporary patch on that right patch pocket um, or on their red vest. And then the pin gets stuck each consecutive year on the pin. Now, Emergency Preparedness Award. This award encourages our youth to be prepared, right? Be prepared. That is a Scout VSA model. To be productive, self-reliant, adults active in their communities. Now, this um, award is being sunsetted. That means it is going away. So if this is something that you want to participate in, I would check with the Scout Shop and see um, if they still have this award in the shop. I don't know as of today what the status is on, on how many they have but they are not making additional pins. They are gonna be going into a new area and coming up with something new. But for now, it is still a, a current thing. They just aren't making new ones. And this again is Tiger through Weeblos and Air of Lights and you adults can earn this as well. So mom and dad can earn this alongside their kiddos. Um, so they need to make home safety plans like their fire escape plans, flood plans, electricity plans, how to turn off the utilities in their house, all those kinds of things. They need to learn some first aid. They need to learn about weather dangers. They need to create a family and personal emergency kit in case of emergency. And then it talks about stranger awareness and all sorts of emergencies. So they are prepared um, as youth and beyond in helping them to grow into successful adults. The pen can be worn both on civilian clothing and on your uniform centered on your left pocket flap. That's where that puppy goes. All right. This one is a cool one. Not a whole lot of cubs earn this. More of our Scouts BSA earn it. But heck, our cubbies do some hiking too and want to go see some really cool stuff around Texas. So what this is, is um, it was brought about to bring appreciation to the ideals, principles, and traditions that have been made in our country and made our country strong. Requirements emphasize cooperation between the historic societies and our cub scouts and again it's tigers and up so what they're supposed to do is you go and you click on the page of what the requirements are but really what they are is they're supposed to learn about that historic area or trail they need to hike on it they need to camp for two days and one night so friday to saturday or saturday to sunday and work on a trail project or event approved by the historical society so if you're going to go and camp at a historic location and then you need to work with them about what service project you're going to do and the cool thing is is that historical society a lot of times will come and set at a campfire with you and teach you about the local history um, of that historic trail and that again is a temporary patch that would go on the red vest or red blanket and we're going to go into a few specific trail um, things and a little bit more about the historic trail award. Now, we don't have specific patches for h specific historic trails within the Capillary Council boundaries that I know of. Um, and I've been here a little while. <laughs> but 
some areas near us do. So the first one I want to talk about some special patches through the Sam Houston Council. So that is near Houston. Um, they have the Sam Houston Trail or San Jacinto patch. And the Alamo Area Council has the Price of Freedom Trail Patch. So those are special patches you can go and earn. Again, Tigers and up. The San Jacinto, um, for the San Jacinto patch, you go to uh, the site and you hike around the San Jacinto Monument. And what they have is really cool uh, spots around where they have a little page and you stop at number five and you read what happened or information about the San Jacinto. And then you keep walking around to five different points um, with the assigned story. And in the Price of Freedom patch, you call and set up a viewing at the IMAX um, down in San Antonio of the Alamo Price of Freedom. And there's a movie package just for Cub Scouts. Um, and then you tour around San Antonio. And then you get with both of those councils in San Antonio and in um, Houston. And the links are in this Google Doc that I'm sending you of um, how you can purchase those patches through their council. And again, those are temporary patches for your right pocket or your red vest or blanket. Now, International Spirit Awards. Scouts will gain a greater knowledge of international scouting, y'all. It is amazing how many adults, <laughs> but especially the kids, do not know scouting did not start in America, number one. And we have scouting all across the world with millions and millions of people um, participating in the ideals of scouting. So it is was developed for greater appreciation and awareness of different cultures and countries. The national office currently does not have someone um, assigned to process that award. But as of last night, I did hear one of the, I worked on this award over the summer with about a hundred people and people were saying, Hey, we haven't gotten our award yet. While well, the person was no longer with PSA that processed that award. But as of yesterday, one of our scouts did get their award in the mirror. So someone has stepped up to start processing those. So don't be afraid to try and earn that award. Um, and that is tiger tigers, and up and then adults as well. And earning the World Conservation Award is part of that. Um, the You learn about and promote the World Friendship Fund. You participate in Jamboree on the internet, which is the third weekend in October, which is a really fun thing. And then um, you complete different experiences throughout. And on the Google Doc, I have put on tons of YouTube videos from the classes I did over the summer and spring when I was first starting to do the online stuff. So some of the content is really, really, I'm trying to figure out the technology. So please excuse some of that. Um, there are some great story times that will help pass off different um, ad adventures as well as some of these awards. And then we had, we worked with scouts in Colombia and in Kenya um, to let us know about their countries as well. So that was pretty cool. So check out those links on my YouTube page. And again, this is a temporary patch. All right, this is an interpreter strip. strip. This, unless you can read Korean, you don't know what it says. <laughs> this is the Korean interpreter strip and there are tons of interpreter strips. So if you or your youth speak a foreign language other than English, then you can wear that interpreter strip. But there are some requirements to earning that. And again, that's Tigers and F, including adults. And any member who speaks a specific foreign language and they demonstrate a knowledge by carrying on a five minute conversation in that language, uh, translating a two minute speech or address and writing a letter in the language. Um, of course, that doesn't apply to sign language. So if you sign, then, then that does not apply or translate 200 words um, of, of like a book or a poem or something um, in that language. So if you speak another language or your kiddo speaks another language and they do those things, they can earn that interpreter strip. The interpreter strip goes centered above the words Boy Scouts of America or Scouts BSA um, on your uniform, which is pretty cool. So Nova and Supernova Awards. There are links again on the Google Docs. There's so much information for the Nova and Supernova Awards. Nova Awards program um, 
incorporates learning from with cool activities and exposure to science, technology, engineering, and math for Cub Scouts and beyond, actually. The hope is that the requirements and activities of earning these awards stimulate interest in STEM-related fields and shows for how science, technology, engineering, and math apply to everyday learning or living and the world around them. And this is for Wolf and Up. This is a little bit more involved uh, science. There's projects they need to work on. There's videos they need to watch and discuss. Um, for the regular Nova Awards and then the Supernova. So then with the regular Nova Awards, there is the Nova patch and then there's the little pie um, pens or devices that you pin onto the patch for the different awards. And then when you completed everything and you do a special thing, again, links there, then you can earn the Supernova Award, which is really awesome. All right, recruiter strip. Almost everybody can get this. This is to recognize youth, youth members who recruit a friend into scouting. So, uh, and this is lions and up, y'all. So this is all of them. This is the easiest, in my opinion, to earn. The recruiter strip has one requirement. Recruiter friend into scouting. So invite your friend, have your friend join, and bam, you earn a patch, okay? This is not a temporary patch. This will stay on the cut scouting patch for until they're done with cubs and that is worn below the right pocket. So that's where that recruiter strip goes. Religious emblems. So that is that purple knot you've seen uh, possibly on people's uniforms. The religious emblems um, is a program um, created by various religious groups to encourage youth to grow stronger in their faith. The religious groups, not the Boy Scouts of America, have created the religious emblem programs themselves. So each individual requirement for each religion is created by that religion, not the Boy Scouts of America. Boy Scouts of America has approved these programs and allows the recognition to be worn on our uniform. But each religious organization develops and administers its own program. And who and how, right? That is specific to, to each religion. So um, in the Google Doc, again, I put the link on how to find out that information. And that is worn above your left pocket. That is the only knot that Cub Scouts can wear, uh, which is pretty awesome. There is an adult version of this, and it is, it's flipped. You've got a purple knot on a silver background for the adult requires uh, adult not for the religious emblem all right whittling chip card this one's pretty awesome this helps promote a uh, safe use of pocket knives for our cub scouts they all want to carry a knife boys girls i don't care knives are awesome right they're a cool tool you can do some really cool stuff with with a knife but learning that knives are tools and not toys are a huge part of what we're teaching them. And this is for bears and up. That goes back to that age-appropriate guidelines, right? So our lions and tigers and wolves should not be using knives. And then our bears, in that during that year, they learn um, while doing bear claw how to use a knife safely. And then they can, can carry a knife from then on. Um, and then learn how to demonstrate pocket knife safety. They carve something and they sign a safety pledge. And that pla placement, they get a pocket certificate. So they get a little card and you can write their name on it. And then there's a temporary patch that can be worn on the pocket, not on the pocket flap of the right uniform or on your blanket or vest. Now, in years past, there has been a tradition uh, passed down kind of from generation to generation in scouting of tearing the corners off of the willing chip card. If you find them in violation, that is a YPT violation considered hazing. Um, so instead of doing that, what you really need to do is just reinforce safety that knives are tools and not toys. If it escalates and you know, the knife needs to come away during the rest of the camp out and be put away then that's something completely different. But, you know, hazing them and, and calling them out and saying, you know, uh, Aida was was not good with her knife and tearing off 
a corner of her her uh, whittling chip is now considered facing. All right, Texas badge, y'all. So there's a cool Texas badge just for us here in Texas. It is a patch program designed to encourage Cub Scouts and Weeblos to explore Texas history. We have some cool history here in our state um, that was once a country. And that is for tigers and weeblos. They learn the state symbols, the history, and the culture. And that is, again, a temporary patch. One of the links on the Google um, Doc is a YouTube video of um, when I ran the Texas badge class. I know I had some technical difficulties the day of that class. So please excuse those technical difficulties. You, But you are more than um, welcome to show that to your scouts so they can earn the Texas badge themselves as well. Or you can run it yourself. You do not have to do my class. All right, there's also this cool thing called service stars. I don't see a whole lot of y'all wear these on your uniforms. But back in the day, um, I don't even think, my littlest one doesn't even wear them. He's a weeblo now. Because our pack doesn't do them anymore. But they are still a thing. My older ones did it, and you can too. So service stars are for all youth and adult leaders who have reached one year of tenure. So you can earn one after one year. You get it. Um, with the Boy Scouts of America, and they're eligible to start wearing those stars. The stars um, are very underused. Outward symbol of how long you've been involved. And a quick way for a new scout, parents, and leaders to see who has scouting experience. Any youth or adult member who had at least the one year can wear it stars are one year all the way to 90 years y'all so uh oh not black for stars sorry it's supposed to be back that was a total typo there's little backs so on the back of these stars you can see the little yellow it's like a little plastic yellow thing so if i were to wear a cub scout star on my uniform with a yellow background i would put i think Oh, 19 years. I've been serving actively with Cub Scouts for 19 years. And I served five years with a venture patrol or venture crew. And so I would wear a different color for ventures. And I served like 10 years so far in a troop. And so I would wear another star with a green background for, for that. And so just depending on where you're at is what the color significant is. All right. And the service stars are worn centered above that left pocket with three eighths of an inch above that seam. Or if a metal or embroidered knot is worn. So if you have your knots on, then the service stars are worn above the knots. All right. Shooting sports awards. That's why they join scouts, right? At the Jordan scouting night it's hey you want to shoot a bb gun and an arrow and a slingshot heck yeah so that is a big mountaintop experience and why a lot of our kiddos join scouts to get outside and shoot some stuff in a safe way on the range with qualified range masters so uh we in cubs can shoot bb rifles slingshots and archery um in a council or district event only it is not approved at a unit level event. So if your unit is at the park, you cannot just set up your own BBR archery range. Okay. It has to be at a district or a council event. And then Weeblos and Air of Lights, they can shoot pellet air rifles, which they do at our Weeblos Extreme Camp. So check those out. Pretty awesome. And this is Lions and Up. Um, a district or council event only, like day camp, resident camp, coming out here to Camp Tom Wooten um, on a weekend, using either council or district uh, trained range masters. So, again, you cannot, even if you have a range master in your unit, you cannot just go set up a range anywhere and do it. It still has to be at a district or a council event. So, having a range master which we run those about three to four times a year, those trainings for range masters. So check out bsacac.org and training for range masters. That enables you to make sure, like if you come out here and see me on a weekend at Camp Tom Wooten, maybe my range master is not available. And so you have one and then your kiddos can shoot 
at the range. Um, and then for there's different levels for every rank, you've got a different patch that's level one and that's a temporary patch. And then they have special devices or pens for each um, thing that they do. So if you're a tiger scout and you reach level one for any of the things, if you just reach level one for BB, then you can put the BB pen on for level two, archery two and slingshot level two. And that it gets, uh, they increase in level with how well they do in shooting. All right. This is a really cool one that not a lot of our cubbies do, but it is totally available for you. This is Scout Strong. And there's three different patches and three different programs. There's the Presidential, there's the B Med Wise, and Healthy Unit Award. Sorry, that kind of got cut off on there with our council logo. But um, the Presidential Active Lifestyle Award, the Scout Strong Healthy Unit Award, and then the B Medwise is really for 11 and up. So if you've got an Arrow of Light group, then they're just done. They've done all the Weeblow, all the Arrow of Light adventures. They, once they're 11, and they, but they haven't gone over to a troop yet for whatever reason, that is one of the things they can be working on is the B Medwise. And within the Presidential Award, they learn about health and they need to do six weeks of healthy activities. That's it. Done. And they get a cool award from the president. And then Scout Strong, they need to help you all. It's for like your unit. Your, your unit works on it together or you're done. Okay. And so you eat healthy foods at three meetings and you drink water and talk about the importance of water at three at six meetings and then 15 minutes of physical activity at nine meetings. And then that B-Wise is really for our Arrow of Light kiddos. And the B-Med-Wise uh, is talking about medication and being wise with medication. And again, that is a temporary patch. All right. There is a National Park uh, Resource Stewardship Scout Ranger Award. Now, it is hard in Texas for us to get it. We have one national park. Big Bend. But if you go in there or... If you're traveling around with your family in the summer or another time and going to national parks, this is a great award that you guys could be working on. The, um, it invites Cub Scouts to participate in education and to volunteer in service projects at national park sites to spark their awareness of our national parks and to provide scouts with the opportunity to explore these national parks and learn more about protecting our natural and cultural resources. Because not all of our national parks are just about our natural resources a lot some of them are about cultural resources and cultural um keeping our the culture of that local community alive so to earn that certificate the scouts should participate in an organized educational activity and or a service project for a minimum of five hours at one or more national parks and then they, there's also the patch. So there's a certificate and a patch. So that's five hours you get a certificate and 10 hours you get a patch. And again, you don't have to do all five or all 10 at one national park. You can be all over the country and, and work on this, a pretty cool thing. And that is a temporary patch. Now, something that I've noticed is not being used is our dinner and assistant dinner cords. So your dinner assistant dinner our youth leadership positions for Cub Scouts. These as youth assistants, they assist the Cub Scout den leader during your den meetings or activities. The dinner is a, has the double cord, so the two pieces of yellow, and the assistant dinner has one cord, okay? And this is lions all the way through. So they're learning these leadership skills that they're going to bring into Scouts VSA, into their work, into their families, into their future as adults, right? So you can have these dinners, you can reelect them every month. You can have them serve for one to three months. If, if you do every month, it kind of gives everybody a chance in your den to be a dinner or assistant dinner. Um, and their job is to help set up, help pass stuff out. You know, not very hard, but it gets them out and in, in, in learning a little bit more leadership. Okay. And that is worn over your left shoulder of the Cub Scout uniform. Now, duty to God, that is all part, and there's adventures in every rank to do duty to God, but there's another 
set of patches called the Prey Patches. The purpose of Duty to God Promotion Patch is to encourage the youth and adults to learn about, promote, and participate in the Religious Emblems programs. And that is Lions and Up. You're required to attend or make a presentation on Religious Emblems. Make a commitment to Duty to God and then you earn one patch per year. The anchor patch, so the first patch you always earn is the scout kneeling patch, and then they switch out what patch they send you every other year. So you don't know if you're gonna get the eagle, the mountain, or the stream, um, but you won't earn the same one you know, in three consecutive years. Oh, oh shoot, I just skipped one. I skipped JTE, that's what I skipped. Journey to Excellence, that is a patch you all can be wearing. So when you did recharter, sorry, and I can't go back in, in this presentation mode. Um, when you did recharter, you, for your district, also filled out Journey to Excellence. How many service hours are you meeting together? How many kids you have? All that kind of stuff. And depending on your level, and there's bronze, silver, and gold level, then you can go to the scout shop and purchase the JTE patches that you can wear on your uniform. Um, I, I think it's five inches below the bottom of the flag um, for your JTE patch. Now, some things that some people still don't know about is these preview adventures. Uh, I do not know if they have decided to make these full on, you know, part of the program yet, but I, we're looking at them and you can earn them and so they're purple and there's different requirements for each rank there are a couple different ones there's the yo-yo and the protect yourself preview adventure belt loop um these are new elective adventures that are they are considered electives so they do not have to earn them but they are pretty cool during the preview period these adventures will be under evaluation and possible uh revision and we'll be determined how much interest there is. Like, did, who, who all earned the yo-yo patch? So the more of us who do it, then they'll bring it in as, as an actual elective. These adventures count towards achievement just like other electives. So if you need, you know, all your, your core adventures and then you need four elective adventures, the yo-yo and the protect yourself can count as one of the four. So... Um, for learning the yo-yo, you need to learn safety and some how-tos on how to do a yo-yo. And then it kind of progresses. You know, it's a lot easier for the lions and then a little bit harder for the weeblos, what they're asking them to do. And then protect yourself. Lion through air of light is learning about personal safety and protecting yourself through um, some videos and activity and discussion. And this can be done in a den setting or as a family. As And on the... Um, I have the links for the videos on the Google Doc. Some people feel that it needs to be something that you do as a family. They are talking about child abuse in those videos um, and some sensitive subjects about, you know, your swim clothes areas. And um, But whether it's a hard thing or not to talk about, it is something that needs to be talked about with their youth. And so... I highly encourage everyone to earn the protect yourself um, belt loop. And again, this is a belt loop, or if you're a Weeblo or of light, then it is a pin to go on your Weeblo colors. Messengers of Peace Award. So this was launched only in 2011. This Messengers of Peace Award is a global initiative, so you can earn this all over the world. And it's designed to inspire millions of young men and women um, about more about the 220 countries and territories to work towards peace so and where this ends up going is you've got your world crust and that goes right around your world crust emblem that purple patch that's on every uniform and this is lions and up so everybody can earn it and so there's four steps they need to explore and research about a local problem or people um it, and what are pe actions people are taking and good practices. Learn and decide and identify your motivation and talent. So what, what do I wanna do? And then you do your action, you execute, um, and then you report, and then you share what you did. And so you are going out and helping others and creating peace and a, a more beautiful world for everybody to enjoy. 
All right. This is brand new. Brand, brand new. 2020, it just came out. I have barely touched the surface on looking into this. There's a lot to do with this Earth tribe. You join the Earth tribe. You join scouts from around the world. And you explore your series of exciting environmental challenges um, to earn your recognition badges and become a member of the Earth Tribe. The Earth Tribe is a global community who is willing to commit to part of a global movement to preserve and protect our planet. And this is for age seven and up. Instead of having a rank specific and up, because this is a worldwide movement and everybody calls things differently um, around the world, it's just age seven and up. There are three challenges. There's Champions for Nature. That's a little panda. There's the Tide Turner's Plastic. That's a little one with the wave. And these scouts go solar with a little tent with the solar panels on the side. And again, these are temporary patches. There's a ton to do for each of these. Um, but really cool experiences for our scouts to check out. All right. There are some special camping and extreme weather. We have nothing but extreme weather. I'm sitting out here at Canton Moon right now, and it is like 45 degrees. I'm freezing. Um, but tomorrow, you know, it'll be like 95. I don't know. It, it, weather in Texas is crazy. So we have our extreme weather awards for our council. We have the polar bear and the chili pepper. And that is for lions and F. Everybody can earn this. Scouts are eligible to earn that polar bear by camping overnight in weather that reached 32 degrees or fewer. So it froze while they were sleeping or camping. Okay. Anytime during their camp out, it doesn't have to be at night. Often at times it's night because that's when the weather dips down. Um, and then Scouts are eligible to earn the chili pepper award by camping in weather that reaches a hundred or higher. So if you're camping in the spring or the summer, sometimes the fall, um, you may be camping in hundred degree or, or more. So those are some fun other um, extreme weather awards. All right. So this is the Google Doc that I have sent to your moderator who is moderating this. And they are going to make sure that you have this. This is seven pages of links, y'all. I worked for a while <laughs> to make sure you guys got lots and lots of information on different activities and awards to do. Um, and again, I am Program Ranger Shay. I hope at some point you will come and see me out at Camp Tom Wooten on a weekend or possibly this summer. Um, keep an eye out on the council page. Make sure you are signed up for the council newsletter as well as, and I should have put that on here, check out and join the Facebook group that I have started. I started about six years ago, and it is the Kepler Council Cub Scout Activities. That is where you find out what happens here especially at Camp Tom Wooten and around council and around other areas. I uh, try and update it with lots and lots of things that are happening, lots of opportunities for families, for dens, for packs to come out um, and do stuff with some amazing instructors who've been doing this a while. Everybody currently who's out here on weekends with me doesn't even have a Cub Scout anymore. They, in fact, they don't even have a kid that's, that's younger. They all have adult kids. They all have Eagle Scouts, but they have a passion for scouting and a passion to make sure that you, your family, and your cubs have an amazing time in the outdoors, experiencing nature, and, and getting some good vitamin D. So I hope you guys are going away from this, having learned some awards and some cool things that your scouts can do um, either individually or as a group. Thank you guys for joining me and have a great University of Scouting time. Bye-bye.